So the thing is, whenever I actually go to the campus gym, I usually do two specific exercises. One is about pulling as hard as you can. And it's just, I start off, match on this one, and try to pull as far as I can. Uh, I have like a, a goal that I'm occasionally working towards, which is to go one to the seven. I'm not sure what the conversion is in your gym, but it's like, it's, it's far from me anyways. The other exercise is more like a, to work on the other part of my campusing, which is when I have one arm pretty high up. Like if you want to do one five nine, I think a lot of people can do, not a lot of people, but some people can do one five, but the one five nine part is really hard. Like the last move on that is pretty much just a crux, <laughs> so to speak. So what I'm working on is just getting the endurance to go from when you have your hand higher up. I'm fine. Uh, but I'm gonna start off with uh, doing the big move real quick. Try that real quick and then see how much power I have left for the other exercise. When you pull, it's like there are two motions in my, from my perspective. The first pulling motion where you engage your core, your arms, and pretty much everything. Like from here to here. Pull. And then when you have the when you want to reach your hold, you actually pull like with a bit of a muscle up, so you pull a bit more by, by pushing. Um, so if you want to get as far as possible, you have to get a, an extra push from your arm. Um, so I'm gonna try to work a little bit more on that one more time and try to do the one to seven goal. Um, feeling pretty flowy today, so I'll give that a quick whirl, and then we'll do the other exercise. Oh, oh. That is a classic, I've done it many times. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> thing is, that what I do is I swing a little bit in the beginning to get the right momentum. Um, but if I do it too much, I kick my knees into the whole wooden thingy over there. All right, one more go on that, and then we'll do the other exercise. Ooh, ooh, in the middle. All right, all right. I'll stop touching it. That's uh, part of the goal. Um, I'll do that one more time, and then it's the other exercise. All right, so I suppose it's time for the second part of the exercise. Uh, so what I do is, is uh, on a strong day, I jump up to number four of these, and then pull up to the to number six, match the number four, and go down with the other hand. Up to six, match number four, down with the other hand, etc. And on a wake day, I go one, three, five, etc. Right. I'm hoping this is a strong game. As you can see, his hips moves as well, like we've talked in the video. Like he does that chipping thing or kipping. All right. So I usually start off like that just uh, until I start to get a little bit tired. Yeah. And I do maybe like five or six sets of these. And on the last one, I literally give it all I have. Like, once I feel that I can move up to number six, I start screaming like, that! And just pull with everything that I have. So, and, how, uh, so how is this beneficial to camping? Like what? Uh, well, for me, it's, it's um, whenever I'm stretched out on a move, I have a really hard time moving to the next hold. Um, or I have had a problem with that for quite some time. But this just, it sort of allows your muscles to just push through that and just pull immediately. Because it's, what most climbers do, I think, is uh, you go match from a big hold or hands close together. Big move, match. Big move, match. But you're not going to be able to do that forever. And it's not especially, um, it's not viable. So what you have to do is, you have to work on all the aspects of it. And this is pretty much all the big moves in one sweet exercise. So that's why I do it anyways. And it, it helped a lot with my campus strength uh, when I started doing it. Uh, I don't know, maybe I do this like, it's whenever I'm excited. Sometimes it's three times in one week and sometimes it's every other month. Um, but if I get excited to have, you know, to, to become really strong quickly, this is what I do for sure. I just realized one more thing about this exercise and actually why I started it 
It's that whenever I'm really tired and do these big moves, or just pretty much any move, I have a really hard time committing. I used to have a hard time committing to, to the move, like pushing through it and actually doing it. Um, but this sort of helps you to push even though you're insanely tired. Especially with that last set of it where I just keep on pulling until I collapse. Um, you, you just have to muster up all your strength and pull as hard as you can and it's just... I think that's a really good quality to have in your climbing. Just to be able to like finish off the problems in one move to the final jug and it's just... You're insanely tired, you just want to jump off because your body is shaking. But if you, if you can just push through that, you can usually actually get to the last hold. But it's pretty hard to push through that if you're just used to climbing. And I think this exercise helps a lot with that as well. Campusing is a pretty good strength to have. Uh, sometimes it's easier to just push through and pull as much as you can instead of trying to get your feet up on a hole and just uh, keep on pushing your feet up. Um, so I think it's good to work in your campus technique every once in a while. Of course not every session, of course not all the time. And it's good to use your feet. That's like <laughs> essential for, for you to become a good climber. I think it's good for you folks. So keep on working that campus. Yeah, as always, thanks for watching people. And uh, I don't know if you appreciated this whole campus thing here or if it was just dumb of us to include it. Uh, if you have any feedback, I mean, comment it in the comments below. Uh, I pretty much read all of the comments, even though I always, don't always have time to answer. So uh, thanks for watching and see you again soon.